Hello folks, my name is James from Icon City and this is a video about problem solving issues with our Stream Deck, especially if you've bought something from IconCity.com. I'm going to help you go through some of the issues that some people may run into while loading in profiles or creating profiles or basically getting their icon pack to work. So let's go over to Icon City right now. Here we are, IconCity.com. This is where we um, sell all our icon packs. So we go to the word store here and inside here we're going to come along and we're going to buy for example uh, daisy here so i'll go ahead and just press purchase now the minute you purchase that uh, obviously you'll get that paid for and then what will happen is it will come into our um, downloads folder so let's go ahead into our downloads folder there we go inside downloads folder and you'll see here that it's a zip dot file so everything we sell comes through as a zip dot file so first thing we do is we're going to unzip that and here it is and then all we can do is we're going to extract that and obviously this will look different depending on which type of extraction utility you've got so i'm going to extract that into downloads now press ok and you'll see here now that i've got all the icons um, right here okay and inside here there's going to be a folder okay and it's called elgato profiles there we go so we've got all the icons um that you'll get so you can move these icons around your stream deck um, place them wherever you want so you've got access to all the icons inside here okay in fact let's go to view and look at uh, sort of um, small icons uh, let's go to view medium there we go so there's all the icons that you get in the pack really really nice but obviously what we don't want to do is have to drag these and here's our stream deck software let's move over there we don't have to drag these into these little windows like that because what we've got is the elgato profiles folder here so double click that and you'll see two profiles that we supply with most of our uh, icon packs and that is the 32 icon pack and the 15 so we got the number 15 and 32. in this case you'll see on my stream deck software um this is um a 32 okay it's got the word stream deck excel there it holds 30 years so all i've got to do folks in this case is i'm going to double click the profile 32 and you'll see straight away there it's populated uh, my stream deck beautifully with all the icons okay so everything i need now is inside here you'll see one that's called gestures so if i click on gestures okay it opens up that um, folder and if i go back one there you see it takes me straight back to uh, the uh, what we call the front page character so there's all the walking for character etc so you see that having a profile is really cool because it basically gives us all our icons in a nice tidy um nice tidy way and we don't need to um sort of mess around with them but of course we can mess around with them if you wish what we can look at now is uh, sort of just change this profile around to suit you better so for example if our character key here See this change stance, we don't want that there. What we can do is click and hold that, move it over the, the button there, and move it over there. And you'll see that everything to do with it is, is moved with it. So for example, you see got drop here, here's the word drop. Now it uses the word hotkey G there. So if I move that over there, you'll see it stays there, no problem at all. Move it here, the hotkey stays there. If I want to move it into a folder, let's move to the character folder, and put it in the center there we'll see the hotkey stays with it and there it is there so that's how you can start to modify these and move them around also you can actually create your own page so you've got the word pages here hit the plus icon we've opened up a brand new page now if we go back to our downloads folder we can see all of our icons that i've supplied and this is where you'd actually go in and create your own sort of own hotkey if you like or you want to change things around to um, make basically make it your own so what I'm going to do is come down into my list of uh, options here. And inside these is um, control center. We don't know. We want them on system. There we go. We've got system. And we've got the word hotkey here. So I can drag the word hotkey in. Okay. So there's our blank. And now I can find a gesture I want. So let's go um, handbrake. And all I'm going to do is I'm not going to drag it there because it won't work. I'm going to drag it and drop it here like so. So there's handbrake. And let's say we know what the hotkey is. Um, so let's say it's H. Tap on H on the keyboard and you'll see also gives us the title H. So you just need to click on that and press the delete key and get rid of that. So that leaves just the word H there. And again with H for handbrake, we can now move that around 
And that's how and why I supply all the icons so you guys can go ahead and start making your own from there. Obviously, I can take this into the front screen. So hold and drop, and there you go like that. So really nice and easy to use a profile that's already got all the keys keybind for you already. You see there going through these, but some of them might not be. So you have to go off and do your own. You'll notice a change down that said click to uh, assign your own. So we can move that here and then we pick a key that we want to assign it to. Obviously, you'll go into the game, into the settings and then find that key if it hasn't been assigned already, but you might need to assign it yourself. So it's a great way of knowing that yourself. So click on there and let's just type in L. So if you want to change stance, that'll be L. And of course we make those changes inside the game folder. So what about changing profiles? Let's look at that next. So what if I want to link this profile to another one or just change it to a previous profile? Well, that's really easy. All we've got here is with C Daisy there. If I click on that now, all my profiles that I've loaded before are listed inside here. So we've got Sim Racer, and there you go. There's the profile. Really, really simple. So I'll we'll do is go back here, and then go back and find um, the Daisy one we just loaded. There it is. And what I can do is I can link back to that one. Really simple because I don't want this window open all the time because obviously when I play in a game this window will be disappeared. So what I can do is go ahead and link a, a button here to a, another profile navigation and you'll see in here all the other ones there and one of them here it says switch profile. So if I drag that down there, switch profile, it then says uh, the one you've got is current, which one do you want to be linked to? Well if I click on that we will see the same menu and I'm going to click on the word sim race like that. So this is really cool so if I double click that It'll now um, load up Sim Racer for me, just like that. But obviously, I need a key to go back <laughs> to that profile. So we can go ahead and do that. So let's press the switch profile button here, drag it in. You see it's listed there. Profile is next profile. Click on here and we just say uh, back to DayZ. So if I go ahead and click this now, there we go. I'm now back into our DayZ profile. Click back here and we're just going to take us back into Sim Racer. So you've been to um, Icon City, you've downloaded the Icon Pack, you've double clicked on the profile, and all that's happened is nothing, nothing's appeared here. Now, there's a few reasons why that might be the case. Number one is we um, maybe haven't run the software in admin mode. So let's look at that now. All we've got to do is go to local disk. We're gonna close this window. We go to local disk, program files, and we can look for the word Elgato here. There it is there. Double click that. And inside there, we've got the word Stream Deck. Okay, you might have a few others like I've got here, but double click Stream Deck. Scroll to where we see the executable. There it is. And you'll see the word Stream Deck and the word application there. And all I'm going to do here to run in admin mode is right click and run as administrator. You get this little notification pop up. It's absolutely fine. Press yes, and then you see. It's opened up beautifully for us, no problem there. So that is one reason why you may see a blank screen or the icon Mac isn't visible. Another one is to check that your software is up to date. So to do that, we're gonna to go to the preference pane here. Okay. And inside here, you've got all of these little tabs that are lit up here as you go through. And one under the general one here, you'll see check for updates. So I'm recording this in late November 2023, and this is the current software version. And again, believe it or not, these can um, affect how our uh, icon packs work. So just press the check for updates button there. This pops up, remember we're in November um, 2023, and that's all up to date and the latest one. So that's a great way to make sure that you are definitely uh, running the latest software. Another good thing to do is if it just pops up every now and then is you'll see the word F for flash uh, F for flashlight here is you see the hotkeys here. Another tip I found is, is to click on that and just tap in F again, uh, delete the title. And what we've done is again, we just rebound that key. And sometimes by doing that, it does actually um, work as well. So there's something wrong with either a setting on your computer that we're not aware of. It can be glitched sometimes with different operating systems. Let's look at sneak. Sneak is control. So if I'm pressing control and it's not working, I can click on the hotkey 
and just press control again. And all I'm doing is I'm reinserting that key and that should again fix any problems you run into. So one other thing is if you're creating your own profiles or you're moving these buttons around like so is um, you might want to actually back up your um, profile that you've created or that you've made your own. Really simple this is. All you've got to do, again, you can click on this setting icon. This pops up. Let's get rid of that back window there. And then under, um, uh, let's see, profiles here. Okay, there's our profiles. You see Star Citizens there under V2. We're going to go ahead and back up just this profile here. So right click, uh, press export. It says, where do you want to export it to? So you press downloads here. And you'll see here, we've got the word Starfield version two, uh, Icon City 32 key, and I can just click next to that. Put a little space in there and just type it the word backup. Okay, and go ahead and save that. Now again, I'm gonna go into our little folder there. I'm just gonna see that that's been done now. So it's really quick. It's only a few megabytes file, and that's what it looks like there. There it is there. So we can now safely move this around put it onto a uh, USB or move it to an online service that's going to keep it safe for us so I don't lose it for future reference. And that's as simple as that. So but all we did is we right clicked, press export, called it whatever, and you see it uses this really strange um, name here, dot stream deck profile. Press save and there it goes, it's moved to that. So that's how we can save and back up our profile. Now you may have noticed also that when I right click any one of these, it says back up all. So that's basically to back up the whole list of all of these that are inside of our stream deck. So right click, uh, back up all, create a backup. Again, it's going to use this uh, profile, backups profile here. Press save, and it's going to do that. Now it takes some time because we've obviously got quite a few profiles in there. We can see by this window, it's uh, positioned there like so. So there you go, that's a uh, quick look at um, backing up our profile. Also, another thing to notice is that um, inside of here, we've got the word Stream Deck Excel. So basically what this means is, is if we've got more than one Stream Deck available to us, if we click on this and jump to it, we'll see it changes over to a different Stream Deck you've already got connected. Now, obviously, if you haven't got another Stream Deck, you won't see this option here. But if we click on it, you'll see it moves over to those just like that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, if you're looking for an icon pack, jump over to iconc.com and we have uh, quite a few available to you. I think there's over 90 icon packs now via our website, iconc.com. So uh, again, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye now.